Ahead of the two Benettons of Thierry Boutsen, fourth, and Teo Fabi, fifth. Sixth, the Ferrari of Michele Alvareto. Senna is seventh, Patrese is eighth. World champion Alain Prost is in ninth place. Derek Warwick is 11th on the grid. Martin Brundle is 17th. Philippe Alio is the fastest three and a half litre car at 22nd. And Jonathan Palmer is 24th in his Tyrrell. And away they surge. Good start for PK. Good start for Mansell. And into third position sprints Teo Fabi by passing the Ferrari of Gerhard Berger. And as you see, as usual, as very often here, there is a shambles as two cars, one of the Venetiers, spins off, and now the other one was one of the two Zaxby's, so it is either Brundle or Danner. I think it was Martin Brundle. Well, there is the answer. There is Jonathan Palmer, whose race was a very short one indeed. PK leading, and the Benetton Ford up into second position, and a black flag is being waved. Now we'll see them come down, and the race is being stopped. The red flag is out, and there is the reason. Jonathan Palmer's Tyrrell is in a dangerous position. That is Pierre Carlo Ginzani, the unfortunate Italian who, for one reason or another, never seems to finish a Grand Prix. So here is the replay. Let's look and see if we can sort out what happened. There, Martin Brundle's losing control and going straight into the Armco on the left. And behind him, you can see Arnu is swerving. He hits Nannini. And, and there is Philippe Streff. That flash from the engine means he's in trouble. He swerves and he's hit by Jonathan Palmer. And both the Tyrrells are badly damaged. And as they form up for the restart of the Austrian Grand Prix after that multiple crash earlier on, amazingly, it looks as though all 26 competitors are restarting, although several of them, of course, will be in their spare car. 52 laps, and PK scorches away, and for the left, and he's left very badly indeed. Look how he's being passed, and there's another coming together, a car dragging along the arm coat, two, three of them out, and one of them is Stefan Johansson, and there's a Ferrari down there, and they're all over the circuit. This is far worse than the first one. Streff is in trouble again, Fabra is in trouble again, Alio has stopped, there's at least six cars. Jonathan Palmer has stopped, but his car looks perfectly okay. Okay, Christian Danner has stopped. Well, this has to be some sort of condemnation, I think, of the Austrian circuit here. Is it wide enough? This is the second time it's happened. Here, then, is the second start. Now, watch, there's Nigel Mansell's car, which is dragging along, and you see the others charging up to him. Now you see Eddie Cheever coming up alongside, and there is the Brabham of De Cesare is turning into him. Johansson goes into Cheever's arrows, and the rest just pile up solidly behind. Now you see Capelli in trouble again. He goes sideways on the circuit, and, Philly, and Pascal Fabra's car leaps over the top of the march, and that goes into the Lola. And this incredible picture shows in the foreground in the blue helmet, Philippe Streff. And in the Charo car, which is the AGS, P uh, Pascal Fabra has leapt over the top of Philippe Alio's Lola. And you can see Lola, uh, Alio getting out of the cockpit. And on the right, in the turquoise-coloured car, is Ivan Capelli. For the third time, off come the tyre warmers from Thierry Boutsen Benetton in fourth position on the grid as he, like everybody else, hopes that the Austrian Grand Prix will at last be getting underway nearly one and a half hours after it was supposed to. Two men will not be starting, Alex Caffey and Philippe Streff. And uh, quite a lot of people will be starting from the pit lane, including world champion Alain Prost and Ferrari's Michele Alvareto. It's a long drag! They've got their clutches out, it's much too long, but they get away. PK is good. Berger is ahead of Mansell. Boots is ahead of Mansell. And Senna is left on the line. Senna came out in the spare car, and he had clutch problems, and he's left badly. But now, we've actually got a start for the Austrian Grand Prix. PK, Bootsen, then... The rest goes streaming through, and Capelli well up, 